What's good, YouTube? This is Yo Yo Queen. This is my very first video, and I'm going to show you how to put in a texturizer. All right, I bought this from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is called Soft and Beautiful Botanicals with Natural Plant Oils and Butters. It's a no lie, no mix texturizer, which means you don't have to mix it. Okay, and I have all of the contents in the bathroom. Let's go. All right. This is the no lie texturizer. This is what you're gonna need. It came with two. You can use one. All right, this is the first thing that we're gonna use, right? Okay, and then after, I, uh, you wanna leave this in here four to five minutes on short hair, okay? And this is the neutralizing shampoo. You're gonna use this after you wash the relaxer out of your hair. You use a neutralizing shampoo to make sure that you get all of the relaxer out of your hair, okay? And this is the leave-in conditioner. This is the third thing you use after your hair is washed using the leave-in conditioner so that you, you condition your hair and you leave it in there. All right, and the, third, the fourth thing that came in there is this moisturizer. This is the last thing that you're gonna use to moisturize your hair, okay? And what you're also going to need, you're gonna need gloves. These are the gloves you can use, okay? You can also use this to dip. You can dip this in here and the relaxer and then you can put it on your hair. Or you don't have to use that, you can just use the gloves. Another thing you're going to need is a towel so that when you, when I finish washing my hair, you want to make sure that you um, tap your, you know, dry your hair. And I, use, I also use this, um, you know, when I get ready to wash my hair, I put this around me so that my clothes won't get wet. And I bought this from Sally's also. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to remove my glasses. And also another thing, you want to make sure that you do not scratch your hair. If you scratch your hair, you've got to use um, hair grease or you can use Vaseline. And then you want to put it around your edges so that it does not burn. If you scratch your hair, if you scratch your scalp, you want to part your hair and put the Vaseline on your scalp. And you want to do that all over your hair. Part it and then put it all over. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this around me. Okay. Also, um, I bought this from Sally's Beauty Supply. It was less than $6. Okay your local Sally's Beauty Supply Store. You can also get it from Walmart. You can also get it from um, Super Beauty Depot or Beauty Exchange, wherever they have the relaxers, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna need my gloves. I'm gonna put your gloves on. As you the reason why you want to use gloves is because you don't want to get the relaxer on your hands so you can protect your hands. I'm going to put this on. We got our gloves on and I'm going to use this relaxer. Okay? I'm going to open this up. You can, I'm not going to use this because it's too big. I'm just going to use my hands. I'm going to have everything open so after, you know, after I get done, I could just grab it and just use it. Okay, so I'm opening up 
This is my um, leave-in conditioner. I'm going to open that. And this is my neutralizer shampoo. I'm also going to need this. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to have everything open. All right, we're going to get started. So here we go. I'm applying the relaxer on my hair. Putting the relaxer on my edges. And right now it's 7.32. I want to make sure that I um, don't put it on there too long. And I burn easily in the front, so I should have just did the back, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. sure you don't get none on your skin. Also another thing you want to do, if you scratch your scalp, you can put Vaseline around your edges. You want to make sure that, um, I think I already said that, so that's fine. If you get some relaxer on your skin, you can just take it, just wipe it off. I'm going to put some in the back of my hair. And this, this is um, it's cheap. It's $5. You can get it from Sally's or Walmart. You can get it anywhere. You can even get it from CVS. I'm just applying on my hair. i got to go quick because time is ticking. <laughs> I'm just running all through my hair. Also have split ends, so um, I'm going to cut those off if I see any. Okay, I can't see in the back of my head, so I'm just going to. here. You see this right here? This is a split end. I'm going to cut that. And you you want to make sure that you get your edges. Because I want my edges. I want this to be laid down. You put this in here for five minutes. You let it stay in there for five minutes for short hair. You let it stay in there for five minutes. You don't want to leave it on there lo no longer than five minutes because it's going to go straight. Okay. Make sure you get everything. You want to run your hands through your hair. Make sure you get everything, the whole head. And you want to also do this um, every two to three months just to keep a fresh look. But if you don't want to do it every two to three months, you don't have to. 
all you have to do, you could just put gel on your hair. You can run your hands through your hair just like this and put some gel on it. And then it'll, it'll stay curly. I use Echo Style Gel. You can use any kind of gel. I use Pro Style Gel. Echo Style Gel is good too. So, I'm looking at the time, watching my time, making sure I don't go over five minutes. You can put some different styles in there. You can also, um, if you want, you can braid it. Or you, you can put like a little cute little style in there if you want. You want to put your edges. It's less than $5. This is less than 5 five to $6. Less than $6. You can buy this from Walmart, Sally's Beauty Supply. I bought it from Sally's. You can buy it from anywhere. Okay. And um, still working it through. You can now see the wavy pattern. See how it's curling up? It's working. So this is how it's, it's working. And I might need to go ahead and take it out because it's, it's curling up. I'm going to wash this out. I'll leave it a little while longer. Mm -hmm. This is very good to use to texturize every now and then. I like to use a texturizer every now and then to keep my curly hair. I've been natural for quite some time, maybe like a um, couple years. I just want a different look. I used to wear wigs all the time and my hair was breaking off so I had to cut my hair. I just dyed my hair like about three or four days ago. So I dyed it black. I used the Beijing dye. It's in an orange and black orange box. Okay, I can feel it burning. I'm going to take this out. So I'm going to burn a little bit and take this out. I'm going to wash it out. Washing out the cold water. I'm gonna need the um, neutralizer shampoo. I'm gonna use this neutralizer shampoo to make sure I get this relax out my head. It's turning to difficult because that's the relaxer. I'm making a mess here, but it doesn't matter. I clean it up. Make sure you wash it out. Make sure you get all that relaxer out of your hair. I'm going to go ahead and wash it out. You want to wash that with cold water. And you want cold water. If you wash it with hot water, you open up your pores. But you want to make sure that you wash that with cold water so that you can close your pores. This is the first wash.
first wash. Now I'm going to do the second wash just to make sure. This is how the my hair. Since I have short hair, I really don't need a whole lot. I only use one of the relaxer. And I can always save the other one for later on. So I'm going to save that other one for later. Okay. I'm washing it real good. Massaging my scalp. Okay. I'm going to wash it out. The reason why I was turning pink is because that's the relaxer. When it's supposed to turn pink, you have to go back to washing your hair out. this for another time because I only need to use just a little bit because I have short hair. This is what it looks like after I wash my hair. Okay. Okay. Like I said before, I had dyed my hair before. Dyed my hair the other day. Okay, now I'm going to use the, the conditioner. Conditioner in your hair. The leave in conditioner. Gotta put that in there. This is what it looks like when the all of my hair leave in conditioner. pattern to it. I'm 
but I can make it more curly by putting um, some gel in it. So I'm just about done with this. This is what it looks like now. It's curly. Okay. And um, if you want your hair more curly, you can also use Echo Style Gel. So this is what it looks like. You can also play with your hair. What I do, I just I part my hair. And I comb it like this. And I comb my hair like this. I put like a little part. curly right there. I'm going to cut this top part because this um, is straight. I could have left this in a little longer but it was starting to burn. You see the wave patterns right here? It's a little wavy. And then you could just play with your hair by, you know, playing with it. Okay. I can't see the back of my hair. Can y'all see the curls? Is it curly in the back? Is it curly in the back? Yes. Okay. I can't see it. But I'm going to cut this other part right here. I'll cut this a little later. Alright. See how I part it? You can part it and then comb it. You also want to comb your hair out. You want to comb your hair through. It's nice and, you know, it's wet. so. Okay. I'm also going to wash my hands whenever I always wash my hands, wash my gloves because I'm going to use these gloves the next time. Okay. okay. Dry my gloves. It's just like I'm washing my hands, but okay. So I'm just gonna recap everything. Okay. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you see all my videos. I will see you in the next video. Bye.